Hey YouTube, it's the test lead and today's video is coding 101, the if statement. This video will try to simplify the concept of if else statements in computer science programming. An if else statement is an example of a conditional statement. If a certain condition is met, then an action will take place. You use if else statements in your everyday life without realizing it. See the flowchart on the page right now. The current situation is that you are hungry. Next you'll see if you have food. If you do have food, you'll just eat the food that you already have. Else, you'll go out and buy some food to eat. This is a basic example of an if statement. In computer science, just like in real life as seen in our previous flowchart, in an if statement, if a condition is met, then a specific action will take place. If that condition is not met, then that action will not take place, and another action may take place instead. The code shown on the screen right now demonstrates what was earlier shown in the flowchart. We know that we are hungry. Our if statement checks if we have food. Because do I have food equals to true, then that block of code will execute. And it will print, eat the food that I already have. If do I have food was equal to false, then the code will print, go buy some food. If you notice in our if statement, we have the equals equals in between the two values that we want to compare. This is an example of comparison operators. Comparison operators are used to check if an if statement is true or not. Use the comparison operator that best matches your needs. Look at the list shown on the screen right now at all the comparison operators generally used in computer science. We have the equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, and not equal to. Next, we have logical operators. The main two logical operators are and and or. And is represented by two ampersands, and or is represented by two pipelines. When using the and, both conditions must be met. When using the or, only one of the conditions have to be met for the statement to be true. Our first screenshot here shows the and being demonstrated properly. Both sides are true, you do not have food, and cash is greater than five, so it will print, I can buy food. Now let's look at a failing, do I have food equals false, and cash equals five. So when we go in and see, do I have food equals false, that passes, but cash is not greater than five, so we will not print, I can buy food, we will now print, I need to get a job. And now for the OR operator, as I said previously, only one side of the condition has to be true for the whole statement to be true. So do I have food equals false and cash equals five? We're checking if do I have food equals false, that passes, or cash greater than five. Cash is not greater than five, but our first part passed, so we will print, I can buy food. Now we will finish with the if else. Think of this as a way to be more precise with the information and give you more options in comparisons. Imagine you have $20 and go to the store and let's know what you can buy. You go up to the price tag of a TV first and see it's $500, which is more than what you have, so you go to the next item. After that, you see video games. A new Xbox game is $60, which is still more than what you have, so you can't buy that one either. Finally, you see a nice book for $20, so you buy it. However, after you purchase it, you see a soda, but you spent all your money on a book, so you can't buy the soda for $2. This is a perfect example of an if-else statement. The code for else if goes into each else if statement until our criteria is met. So first I'll go to the cash, we have $20 in cash. If cash is greater than or equal to 500, we can buy the TV, we can't. Next goes to the next else if statement, if cash is greater than or equal to 60, we can buy an Xbox King, we can't do that one either. After that, we go to if cash is greater than or equal to 20, we can buy a book. Because that code executed, it's going to skip the next else line and then finish that block of code. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.